right, so as we enter, this huge entryway I is, love all the light it's that is beautiful. coming through. Yes, with those big windows. Those big windows, they're not too far, so I was bringing it all in. It's nice, yeah. And then right to your left is where you're gonna get your work done. Yes. So for those home offices, they actually use this as an office as mm -hmm. well. This so this is where she's officing right now. As you come on in, right of the um, entryway is your dining room. Really good size, you could put eight to 10 seats in there so you can have a big party. I love those chandeliers. What do you think of those, Patrice? I think they're really cool. And you know what? I love the crown molding that they've done up here as well. Mm -hmm. With the dark ceiling, it really pops. And the best part of this dining room is it's so conveniently located right next to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So it makes it much easier to entertain and all that good stuff, bring the, bring the food all in. Sometimes we've run into some of these bigger houses where the dining area is so far from the kitchen that it makes it a little impractical, but not in this house. Come on in to this beautiful kitchen. Take a look at this nice four-butt island. You gotta love that. It does have a sink in it, which isn't Andy's favorite as we know, but I don't mind it being here because you can see out and you can see the, I just think it's nice. And then I could see doing cookies at Christmas, all that good stuff. It's got the nice hood. It's got the nice six burner stove, double ovens, which I love. Those are a must for me. Just love this kitchen. I think it's very nice, but I see so many options I would add or maybe even things I'd subtract. But like I would put lights up in those cabinets up there. But then over here is the really good sized snack closet pantry. And then you've got this nice little butler's area. You could put your coffee maker, whatever. You've got plenty of drawer space in here. This is a great kitchen. Patrice, check this primary out. Love the ship lap. I love these windows right on top over the bed and look at the ceiling with the nice beam. It's got a really good size chandelier and then these three windows that are pouring all this light in. And I can just picture the window seat sitting here reading a book, whatever that case may be. This is a perfect size primary bedroom. But Patrice, show me what they got working over there in that ensuite. Okay, well, this is a fantastic ensuite. You've got two sinks, plenty of counter space to get ready and do what you need to do. You've got this beautiful tub right here. Fairly small if you're a tall person. Perfect for my size, because I'm a whole five foot. And then they've got this beautiful shower with plenty of space. It's perfect because it's got the enclosure to keep me warm. And I mean, you could pretty much dance in there, I think. <laughs> and then, can't beat this closet. Look at this closet. This is fantastic. I mean, it's got drawers. It's got this nice middle space. I can see so many things I could do with this closet. Yeah, it's perfect size. And then this closet is attached to the laundry room, which I love. Look at all the cabinet space and look at just it's got you. A sink. And it's got a place for a fridge, which you love. Ooh. This house has something for everybody yeah. in each room. And a ton of counter space. It does, look at that. All kinds of space. And it even has a nice closet there, like a linen type closet to put whatever you need in there. Nice. They've put a lot of their stuff in there for now, but yeah, that's great to have that extra storage. And then as we go out, you're gonna see, this should be the garage. They just have it as a workspace right now for their construction manager. And then over here is a guest bedroom and it's got its own bath, which is nice to have. So it's got just a sink and behind here is the shower area, normal size shower, plenty of space. And then you've got this really good size room for your guests. And as we come out of the primary, you get another view of the Little breakfast area breakfast. right off mm -hmm. of the kitchen. You've got this beautiful family room with the big beams. 
I just love the color beams, that light white oak. Yes, those are it's gorgeous. It's really nice. Nice big chandelier, white on white fireplace. Just a really good size room. And then of course you've got this fantastic. And wh who doesn't love a bar? A bar area, yes. I can just picture all that whiskey and wine. Mm-hmm, it's got its own little sink. The only thing that it's missing, Andy, is what? A fridge. Mm-hmm. But lucky enough, Shattuck will put one in for That's you. That's right, they will. They will do so many things. Now they've got a little blinking light over here, a little strobe light in case you wanna have a little dance party in your hallway. And then they've got this nice guest bath right off the backyard. So if you add a pool to yep. this one acre lot, then you can just come right in, and that's a use nice the restroom. Pool house. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna go ahead into the game room where Andy's hanging out. If there's a pool table in the house, you're gonna find me, mm -hmm. I swear. I'm getting ready to get his butt kicked. Oh, that's the me. big, that's the big <laughs> dilemma. That's the big debate in our house. Uh -huh. uh, we have a pool table and I have to admit, Patrice is pretty good. Uh, we have our days, we have yeah. our days. But what I love about this space is like I said, obviously the full size pool table, plenty of mm -hmm. room to make your shots, but you can put and utilize this any way you want. Yeah. I love the whole bar idea, yeah. matches that beam that they have all throughout the house is really cool have your drinks i would probably put like a tv there even though right on this other side attached to this game room is the media room. Mm -hmm. and this is a really nice space now it's dark it's dark because it's, it's a nice. media room absolutely but perfect size and i love how they're making those sectional couches um where you can, it just makes it very homey, you know, you're not, yeah. you don't feel like you're in a movie theater with those theater sheets. I, I love the idea about the couch. Yeah, they've even put that little end table and a chair and everything to make it look like a family room. Okay. Now, let's go take a look at one of the other secondary bedrooms, shall we? Okay. All right, here we are with the blinking light, so you can kind of get an idea what I'm talking about. But here is one of two secondary rooms that are on this side of the house. Good size room. Well, both of them have their own bathrooms, mm -hmm. which is really nice. And I love the floor. Yeah, this one has a really on nice floor. You've got the glass uh, gray subway tile that they chose for this, which accents and the uh, solid countertop, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Gives you that masculine feel, especially for a boy's room. All right, and now we're gonna go to the other secondary bedroom that's on this side. Beautiful window. Obviously for a Lots girl, of room. I mean, you like could, daughter. You could fit a king size bed in there with no problem. I love the wood beams in this room. And then they've got its own bathroom, which is fantastic. And now we're gonna head right on out to this patio, but a couple of things I wanted to point out is right off this kitchen, you've got this breakfast area that we've sort of talked about already. Love the little homework section or that little pay your bills and that good thing. But one of my favorite parts of this entire house is these accordion dwarfs. Not the pay your bills section? No. <laughs> Not a chance. Come on through to my favorite part, and that is the patio. That is the patio. Yes. Oh, look at You've that. got a grill. You've got not only over on this side do you have a fire pit with the built-in seating, mm -hmm. but you also have a fireplace that is right here. It's just crying for a TV. I would probably put a TV on this wall though. And then, like, I, like we we're talking about, you've got this built-in grill, you've got the fridge, um, just a really clever idea. Like I said, there's the built-in fire pit with the built-in seating. And then look at this lot. An acre. An acre minimum in this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Well, they're pretty much all acre lots. Yes, they are. Um, but That's all I you can, need. Yeah, I can just, <laughs> complete picture that pool out there, the swing set, batting cages, trampolines, playgrounds, whatever stage in life you are, you know, you could deck it out. You could pretty much do anything you want. All your pets running around. I can see it. Yes. Absolutely. And it's 
I mean, this day is beautiful. It's so a beautiful, that adds to it. <laughs> beautiful Texas day it right is. here in Parker, Texas. We hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is a fantastic tour. Tell us your favorite part. And for all of your real estate needs right here in the Dallas Fort Worth area, you know who to call your favorite realtors, Andy and Patrice. Mm -hmm. And until the next time, I'm Andy. And I'm Patrice. Take care.